I want to apologize for the uh, lack of images in this first part of the video. Uh, I was happily taking photos, uh, sadly unaware that the uh, Vera-Matic had ripped the small amount of film off the spool. Uh, when I did realize, I uh, then had to develop a way to rescue the film and replace it with another roll of kit mirror that I had available. Um, I was able to successfully extract the film from the camera by putting my small camera bag inside my zipped up coat and use that as a makeshift changing bag. Uh, to just rub salt into the wound, I sadly misdeveloped the film and lost the images. Uh, sorry. Is uh, our test strip for the image from Mam Tor, and we go from uh, 
10 second increments up to one minute. And it's very clear that uh, one minute isn't sufficient for this particular exposure. Now these um, negatives were quite dark, so consequently they do need a bit more light. I understand that now. So I could use my normal procedure of uh, doing another test strip at F11. But for something for a bit different, what I've decided to do was uh, pretty much keep the same exposure um, but increase uh, the light in terms of uh, um, increasing my f-stop. So rather than going for f11, I'm going to go to f8, which uh, effectively means I'm doubling my exposure, if I've understood that correctly. I'm allowing more light to uh, expose the paper. And so uh, here's the next test strip here. And we've gone for Again, it's a minute, uh, but this time it's at f8. So we have 10 seconds, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So now 60 seconds, which is where previously with the test strip at f11, that's where we got at uh, 60 seconds. It's very clear. I've allowed much more light to penetrate, go through the negative. Uh, but I think I can go a little bit further. So I'm going to actually go based upon these two sort of exposures. I'm going to go to um, 1 minute and 20, uh, 20 seconds and that I think should render the image just as I want it based upon this here. So I could do another test strip and test that but uh, I'm getting a little bit of confidence. Maybe I hope not overconfident uh, but we'll see in the final image. So in summary we're going to go for an exposure uh, of uh, 1 minute 20 seconds at f8 with a contrast factor of 4 and uh, well let's see how we get on. Here is uh, our final image and uh, it looks like I might be right, I think, or from my perspective, the exposure of uh, 1 minute 20 seconds at f8 has rendered the image as I had it in my mind and I think on the computer even. So uh, from that perspective, uh, that's a real confidence uh, or morale booster. Um, but as I say, I don't want to get overconfident. I will always uh, continue to default to doing more test strips rather than wasting a whole uh, sheet of paper. Um, as with the previous uh, image from our previous video, I've gone for a water stop bath, which does seem to have removed this uh, contamination again and produced a much more uniform um, off-white. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm happy with that, uh, but certainly it's an improvement in uh, what I was getting with the uh, chemical stop. So uh, I. Uh, I think it's again confirmed at this moment in time that uh, a water stop is the, the, is the way to go. So uh, there's the image. I'm very pleased with that. Brought back uh, very nice memories. And uh, well, that's the whole purpose of uh, this printing really, isn't it? When you print an image, you want to uh, go back there. And certainly I can with that image. So until the next time.